guys, good evening from a very icy Lake Baikal. You see what's that? That's the western shore of Lake Baikal. That's the oblast of Irkutsk. And over there, you can actually see it because this lake is massive, but there you've got the federal subject of Buryatia. And what is interesting about Buryatia, you may ask? Well, for starters, it's one of the three federal subjects of Russia with a substantial Buddhist minority. We've been to one, if you recall, where we went to Kalmykia. Since we're here now, I guess it makes perfect sense for us to actually go to Buryatia and pay a visit to the largest Buddhist temple in the whole of Russia. The first step is we need to go back to Irkutsk and catch one of our favorite methods of transport. Guys, it's night train time! like this right no idea where we are no idea where we're going either <laughs> at least I got out of the marshrutka but I still have no idea where I am so I guess I'll need to call a taxi if I want to go to the railway station Я все, я все равно поеду. Мальчите. Один КАМАЗ раз в неделю проедет, а если у вас их сломался и кончится бензин, как бы согреваться на морозе стоять. Умереть можно легко. Спасибо. Ну, мне надо, да, спешить, потому что думаю, что есть поезд скоро, но было очень интересно с вами поговорить. Я люблю туристов, я часто не Да, я люблю таксистов. Спасибо. Let's see, let's see, I need a timetable. Already in 15 minutes at 8 o'clock, there's a train going to Ulan Ude. If I want to make it there, I need to get a move. Здравствуйте, а подскажите, на ближайшей до Ulan Ude успею? Не знаю, надо смотреть. Попробуем в 8. Давайте попробуем, документы есть у вас? Паспорт? Да, есть. Я хотел бы плацкарт. Спасибо, спасибо. I've got like 6 minutes to catch my train. Там? Спасибо. I don't think I'll be able to make it, to be honest. I bought the ticket now, just let me go. I just bought the ticket. Passport. Seventh place. Okay, thank you very much. Go? Well, big, huge shout out to the cashier Natalia who sold me a ticket for this train departing at 8 o'clock at 7.54 and I still managed to run across the whole station and be able to get on it. Huge shout out to the Provadnik as well, which unlike many other Provadniks that I had to deal with before, he had already his page with my name open and he just ticked the box and I was let in. Вагон, ресторан здесь нет, нет, но у вас есть пере, 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 перекус. Ну, у нас и чай, вода, лапша, вот это широк. Хорошо, ну, ну, потом, потом uh -huh. посещаю. Спасибо вам большое. Nice. So now I've got nine hours of traveling across the middle of nowhere in eastern Siberia until we get to Lanude. I guess what we can do is actually make up our own bed and then we can go and pay a visit to the Pravanik again and maybe he will have something to eat for us because I would like to have some food before going to sleep. <laughs> So, my friends, the train conductor has shut the lights off, which means it's time to go to bed. And I'm dying to go to bed as well, because I'm pretty tired. And I reckon we will cross the border between the oblast of Irkutsk and Buryatia somewhere between 2 and 3 a.m. So I guess I'll see you guys directly when we land in Ulanude at 5 a.m. One thing that I failed to mention yet in this video is the name of the largest Buddhist temple in Russia that we are going to visit tomorrow. It's called Ivalginsky Datsan and it's around 30 kilometers away from Ulanude so when we eventually get to Ulanude we will have to do some more trekking but that's fine we're used to it it'll be something like minus 25 or minus 30 even those are the temperatures that are forecasted in Ulanude for tomorrow is that a problem no good night guys
And so we are approaching a very frosty Ulanu day this morning. Oh, there we go. We made it. Well done. Uh, it happens very so much often during my travels that I start questioning my life choices. Ending up at Ulanu Day at 5 in the morning, in a cold February morning to add. I really hope there's a cafe or a restaurant at the station or something. What the hell am I going to do? So hopefully there is indeed a cafe where I can chill for a couple of hours. I mean, with this temperature, I surely will be able to chill somewhere. <laughs> I can indeed see two cafes, as the security guard told me. There's one there on the right, and there's another one there on the left. Cool, so at least I will have some place where to find shelter until the sun rises. Man, what's the time? I think it's still like 5.45 or something. Let's find shelter from the cold, and let's also get something to eat, which would be good. E vada a casa, vada a casa, vada a pies casa. Wow, this place is mega to spend a couple of hours, isn't it? Food is cheap, there's a nice Soviet TV playing some film dating back to the Brezhnev era. And it just looks so chill. So I'm getting this typical Buryat Buze, I think that's what they're called. And the legendary and omnipresent Sasiska Vtieste. So I decided to wait the last half an hour before the sun fully rises and the air gets a bit warmer here at the station and you guys see this. This is not your typical waiting room in a Russian railway station and that is because I decided to splurge some money for the business lounge. If you were ever wondering what a business lounge in Russian railway stations looks like, well, there you go. <laughs> You've got this nice TV from LG. I'm not going to turn it on because I'm just not interested in Russian TV, but still. You've got this nice selection of Russian Railways magazines. And since it was a bit cold when I first got into this room, the kind lady offered to turn on this electric heater for me, which was very nice. And last but not least, you've got this nice selection of books for the guests' entertainment. So nice, right. And if you're wondering about the cost, this is going to cost me a hundred and 10 rubles per hour something like one euro and 30 cent per hour that's insanely cheap isn't it so, oh here comes the sun do -do -do -do, in Ulan and in Ude at the same time oh good morning Ulan good morning Ude. Finally, we can get started. All right, guys, as I told you, the Evil Ginsky Datsan, the largest Buddhist center in Russia, is located a few kilometers out of... Wait a second. What is that? Oh. You don't want to fall in that. As I was saying, the Evil Ginsky Datsan is located a few kilometers outside of Ulan Ude, so we need to go and actually take a bus. However, before we do that, there are a couple of things that I would like to see here in... Ulanude. First and foremost, one of the most badass Lenin monuments is located here, so I wanna show that to you guys. And afterwards, to be honest, I just wanna spend some time here. This is a city with almost half a million inhabitants, although it might not look like it. There are not many people around, <laughs> but it makes sense because of the temperature, right? Only Italians can withstand the harsh temperatures of the Siberian winter. The time has come. Well, this statue is creepy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> this is by far the most, uh, the most what? The most absurd 42 tons for just one head of Lenin. I think it's seven meter tall, which makes sense without counting the pedestal, of course. Oh well, I feel like I took some pretty badass pictures of this Lenin's head, let me tell you. 
I can feel it in my bones how cold it is now but anyway so I was thinking that actually we might go now to the Buddhist center near Ulan Ude in Evil Ginsk in the village of Evil Ginsk and in order to do that we need to catch the bus There's a bus stop over there. I'm really hoping that that's the one that I need to be at in order to catch my bus to the Buddhist temple. Let's go and find out in a minute, shall we? Ribiata, you know that this is the bus stop to 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 the bus well, I don't think I'll ever complain about Ryanair legroom like ever again. <laughs> but I'm surely happy that the bus came around relatively quickly, so I didn't have to wait for long. The bus stop was actually the right one. And I'm already on my way to the Buddhist temple. How cool is that? I actually met a few people who are going there as well. Хорошо, а это сколько стоит? Тут 30, ну, или 35. So we made it all the way to this village of Evil Gainsk and now apparently we had to jump on another bus because the temple, the Buddhist temple is not only outside of Ulan Ude but it's outside of this village as well. So we've got another 10 minute bus ride I believe, not longer than that and then we'll be at our destination. Ooh, we're on their way. Поехали! Well, thanks very much, Marshrutka, for having taken me here to the largest Buddhist center in the whole of Russia. And this is the village of Evolginsk. I'm actually tempted to go for a walk first around the village and then actually enter the center right here. They were telling me that there's also a cafe and a small shop where I can buy some souvenirs. Davide. Davide. А вас имя Люда. Люда. Как Людмила? Да, Людмила. А, а это русское имя, это, это не бурятское имя. У меня есть тоже бурятское имя. Ринчин Ханда. Ринчин Ханда. Люда проще, да? Люда. А что-то на бурятском есть? Амар Сен Менде. Это добро пожаловать написано. Амар Сайн Менде. Менде. Я хотел спросить, если есть скидка для итальянцев. Да, есть да, скидка есть, для есть. итальянцев? Сколько стоит для, для итальянцев? Есть. Для итальянцев скидка 100 рублей. Итальянцы же из Италии едете, что ли? У меня две недели отпуска. Я думал, ну, поеду Может, в Магадан. Холодно в Магадане. А здесь не холодно. Я думаю, что в Магадане будет теплее, чем, чем здесь. Минус 30 сегодня. Ну, как, как спасибо на э, бурятском языке? Хенда. Хенда большое? И, хорошо. Спасибо вам большое. Thank you very much. Давайте погуляю и да, посещаю поселку. Хорошо. хорошо. Спасибо большое. До свидания. I got myself a souvenir, although I still haven't been to the Buddhist temple, I already got myself a souvenir. I feel like I've been scammed into oblivion because I've paid 900 rubles for this, which is like 10 euros. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And the lady there was actually so nice. She said that she grew up here, she lives here, and we got her blessing to go and have a walk around the village. How cool is that? Also, I'm so happy that I met the lady there because she was teaching us some Buryat language, which is so cool. And we can actually keep learning Buryat language by walking around the streets of the village. For example, here we've got Produkte. This is a shop. And shop in Buryat is Delgur. And if you're wondering how I can read that, it's because they're using this Cyrillic script. <laughs> Кстати, мне интересно, есть э, еще связи между Бурятой и Монголией 
из Монголии на примере. У некоторых есть родственники есть, в Монголии, есть, есть. да? У вас также? Да, да. Да, да мы бурят монголы на самом деле. Я знаю, что Может, даже вы... Далай-Лама приехал сюда. Он Три... приезжал в 90-м каком-то году, а больше да? вот не приезжал. А, только один раз. Да. Ага. А может, что если жители, которые э, воспоминают, да, бабушки, дедушки, Конечно, помнят? Конечно, моя мама там была, она привозила да? от него благословение, благословенное эти. А, у вас там... русское имя и бурятское имя? Нет, у вас два я, имени? я только, только бурятское. А, как, вы, как вас зовут? Жаргалма. Жаргалма? Да, Жаргал – это счастье. Красивое да. имя да. вообще. У вас а? прям идеальное произношение. Не все русские… Жаргалма? Да, не все русские могут э, да. выговорить сразу вообще. Спасибо. Сразу Меня зовут Давиде. Давиде, да, очень приятно на Жаргалма. Спасибо за все, было очень интересно. Удачи и до свидания. Wow, that lady Jargalma was so nice as well. Buddhist people are so nice people. <laughs> I'm happy. After the longest trek around Lake Baikal and having traversed the most rural part of Buryatia, I finally entered the largest Buddhist center in Russia. As soon as I stepped in, I was approached by a single Buryat lady selling souvenirs to the seven tourists that on average visit the Ivolginsky Datsan complex every year. А, без нельзя? Нельзя. Ну, не уверен, что я все понял, но давайте я здесь 100 рублей. Ты откуда приехал? Я из Италии. А у вас русское имя и бурятское имя тоже? Да. Русская надежда, бурятская бимба. Бимба? О, знаете, что значит бимба на итальянском? Знаете? Нет. Бимба? Это девочка. А, да? Знаете? Бимба. Бимба. Очень приятно, да? So I got a few more insights from the lady running the souvenir shop there. So apparently I'm obliged to have this in order to be able to enter any temple in this Buddhist center, which I very much doubt, but at the end of the day, it's only a hundred rubles. So that's fine. Filming inside any of the temples was highly forbidden, even for me. So I was mostly hanging around the street walks of the Buddhist center, occasionally getting approached by random Buryats. <laughs> А, откуда Виталий? Из э, Венеции. Венеции? Да, да. Били? Нет, после моей футбольной команды все это. Футбольные команды Венеции. Смотрю футбол, да. Да, Венеции. да, да. А, хорошо, Что хорошо. Это? Хорошо. Хорошо. Слю. Вам тоже. Every morning at 9 a.m. there is a ceremony that is held in at least one of the temples scattered around the evil Ginsky Datsan and that is to allow all practicing Buryats from all over Buryatia to come here and profess their faith. The Datsan was opened in 1945 as the only Buddhist spiritual center of the USSR. It was the residence of the Central Spiritual Board of Buddhists of the Soviet Union and later of the Pandita Kambo Lama, the head of the Russian Buddhists. Unique samples of old Buddhist art, such as sculptures and ritual objects, are gathered and preserved at the evil Ginsky Datsan. Among the monastery's treasures, there is a collection of old Buddhist manuscripts written in Tibetan language on natural silk. As a cultural and religious monument, the Datsan is protected by the state. The Datsan Center consists of such temples as Soshin Dugan, Maidrin Sume, Deva Jin, and Sahyu San Sume. There are also a library, a hotel, two buildings of the Faculty of Philosophy of the Buryat University, Museum of Buryat Art, and the rest are residential buildings of the Russian Lamas. Well, I feel like in this video we had a really nice excursion between the lands of the Irkutsk Oblast and Buryatia. That was fun. We had a really nice adventure towards one of the main centers of Buddhism in the entire world and definitely the largest one in Russia. So that was cool. However, our journey is not over yet. It's just getting started. So no rush. Already tonight we will be start making some substantial progress towards Magadan. So stay tuned. I'll see you next time and cheers. Thank you. Bye.